Dear student, this chapter will give you an overview of the concepts underlying information technology, IT. It starts by describing the increased importance of IT in our everyday life and provides a definition for the term IT itself. Upon completion of this unit, you should be able to do the following. Describe what information technology refers to. Explain the relationship between computers and information technology. Outline various applications where computers are used. Identify computers as consisting of both hardware and software. Explain briefly what hardware and software are. Differentiate among different types of computers. Demonstrate basic understanding of computer networks. Discuss the benefits and drawbacks of computers. We hope you enjoy the learning experience. What is information technology all about? Information technology, also known as IT, has been of great interest to almost everyone. Information technology has given rise to new and efficient means of manufacturing products and industries, innovative and fast ways of communication between people, and provided various benefits to every individual such that it is very useful to understand how it works. It is important to bear in mind that good information helps an individual in making the right decision at the right time. For example, getting accurate information about weather forecast helps airport operators to carefully plan the schedules for takeoff and landing of airplanes. Interestingly, human nature seeks to make his life easier by finding new means of actually automating this task of information processing. Information technology does just that. However, it is essential to note that the success of IT lies mainly through the use of a common device that has been introduced in almost every household today, that is the computer with the support of communication facilities. Computers at a glance. Hardware refers to the physical or tangible parts of the computer. They usually consist of input devices to accept information to be processed processing unit to process information, output devices to display and print processed information or take necessary actions, and storage devices to store important information as shown in the figure. On the other hand, software refers to programs or instructions that tell the computer how to process information to give the desired output. Two main types of software exist systems software and application software. System software is made up of special programs that tell the computer how to operate. An example is the operating system, such as Microsoft Windows that a computer needs to operate, whereas application software is any program that processes information specific for the user's need. Examples are word processing software, spreadsheet software, and payroll calculation software. Hence, a computer requires both hardware, that is, input, storage, and output devices, and software, that is, system, and application, in order to be able to serve the purpose of a user. Types of computers. The very word computers reminds one of the desktop computers used in offices or at homes. There are different categories of computers that have been devised in keeping with our varied needs. Supercomputers are the most powerful computers that exist. They have got very high processing power and are used by large organizations in advanced applications like space exploration. Mainframe computers have lesser processing power than supercomputers, but they do provide great processing speeds and data storage. They are typically used for long periods of time and mostly serve companies like international banks that have to process millions of transactions for their customers. Mini computers are also known as mid-range computers. They have got relatively high processing power and capacity that mostly fit the need for mid-range organizations. They are used in manufacturing processes or handling email that are sent and received by a company. Microcomputers are the least powerful and the most commonly used are often referred to as personal computers, that is, PC. 
They provide the necessary processing capability and storage space that a common individual will require to perform routine tasks such as typing a letter, building a presentation, watching a movie, etc. Desktop computers, notebooks, or laptops, personal digital assistants, PDAs, are all different categories of microcomputers. Applications of computers Applications of computers have brought several ways to making life easier and practical. The following listed examples below are to show how useful they are. Medical diagnosis and treatment are now extensively done using computers. Medical doctors can now estimate the date of birth of babies and health status of babies during pregnancy. Other examples include treating of cancer and brain scanning. Manufacturing processes in industries now make use of robots that are controlled by computers to build finished products from their raw materials with very little intervention of human. Car manufacturers, for instance, make intensive use of robots. Banking services, like ATMs, allow us to access our accounts 24 hours a day and 7 days a week to perform routine actions like making a deposit, withdrawing money, and verifying accounts balance through many statements. Additional services include mobile phone stop-ups whereby prepaid mobile phone accounts can be automatically credited from a given bank account. Communication has never been easier than now by using mobile phones. Chat and sending SMS is now an integral part of our life. Modern mobile phones now enable viewing the person to whom we are speaking with. Entertainment, such as IP television, has made our life more interactive in that we can select which TV program we want to view and at what time this process known as video on demand. Web-based applications using the internet has brought people even closer. New businesses, known as e-commerce, have emerged such that a person can shop for almost anything without having to leave his house. Online applications involving much less use of paperwork, such as booking for a flight and seat reservation at the university, avoids the hassle of waiting in long queues and provide for a more efficient and quick means of operation. Computer Networks and the Internet Computer Network is a network where computers are interconnected. The network allows computers to communicate with each other and share resources and information. Connectivity, in fact, represents the possibility for communicating between different computers. This process is achieved by networking, that is, connecting computers together using connecting devices like cables and other specialized devices and setting up of strict protocols for communication to take place. Computer network can be used to share files, printer, or another peripheral device, and even an internet connection. The internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks that interchange data by packet switching using the standardized internet protocol suite TCP IP. The internet carries various information resources and services, such as electronic mail, online chat, file transfer, and file sharing. There are different types of networks, and the most common example is the one you use to access the Internet. The latter, in fact, is a very large network and connects millions of computers together. Benefits of IT Faster processing is achieved using computers compared to human beings, especially when calculations are involved. Storage facility allows individuals and especially organization to keep soft copies of their work instead of hard copies like papers and large files that are cumbersome. This also makes organization and retrieval of information easier and quicker. 
hospitals, using IT for instance, can very easily have access to the file of any patient, easily. Many users can have access to the same service at the same time, as in the case of a book that can be viewed at the same time by many students. Professional services are delivered especially in advertising, video, and image editing that gives a new dimension to the underlying industry. Customizing outputs that allows you to write your own application software such that it suits your need better. An organization may wish to develop its own software that allows it to calculate the salary of all its employees automatically and print out a summary after processing. Integrated applications have been made possible with computers. For instance, you can watch movies, listen to music, type your report, and talk over the internet using computers. Drawbacks of IT A rise in unemployment rate has been the result of loss of jobs, which has been very significant. Since the introduction of computers, as many organizations have been able to perform the same tasks using lesser human intervention. Security issues have been of great concern with IT. Many people have seen their bank account manipulated, their privacy invaded, and as well their businesses affected. This area is often known as cybercrime. Health problems resulting from excessive use of computers include eye strain, headache, back pain and others. Hence, it is essential that special care is taken while using computers. Ethical issues such as illegal copying of other people's works are now very easy using computers. Other concerns include applying parental control to avoid that children are exposed to adult materials over the Internet. Software reliability mainly addresses the trust that people place in computer software. For instance, how far can we trust a lift that is controlled by a piece of software? Trends in IT An interesting feature of computers and IT is that the technology is ever-changing. Computer specialists are always finding new ways of improving our life and developing new computer systems. Current trends aim at providing wireless services, that is, without cables, to people, while improving on the speed and storage space of existing computer systems. Other trends include reducing the size of computers, their costs, and increasing their processing power while catering for the various drawbacks mentioned earlier.